hello mamas and welcome back to my channel listen i know it has been a while i believe that my last update was my first trimester um roundup and um my intentions were to completely do a second trimester just kind of all-encompassing video about all of my symptoms and all the joys and all the pain of my second trimester I just want to do that all in one video unlike with my first trimester where I was doing it you know two to three weeks at a time and then for my third trimester the plan was to do weekly vlogs as I progressed through my third trimester however life got in the way and I was just completely just caught up in just trying to enjoy my pregnancy um I work a regular nine to five and I didn't want to add YouTube as a second job so I just really wasn't recording and vlogging as much as I would have liked too but being that we are coming up on the end of my uh, pregnancy journey I did want to capture a lot of the really important stuff like so for today in today's vlog we're going to be talking about our bedside nursery because I just wrapped that up I am 36 weeks so baby will be here in no time and I want to take you guys with me as I kind of just organize and get my bedside nursery together we're going to do a little bit of shopping to look for little things here and there of course till the end of the video I want to show you guys the breast pump that I got through my insurance and then share any information with you guys on how to get a free breast pump through your insurance in case anyone is wondering or didn't know or what the process is like um it was a pretty smooth process and I do, do want to talk about that and then show off my breast pump um that they got because it's super cute and I'm really excited about it which I actually have set up here on this little side table um this is going to be my kind of nursing area nursing section so so I hope that you guys really do enjoy this vlog I really did have a good time putting it together but uh, without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into the nursery organization I mean look at this Look at this bump, honey. We are we are out here. So I'm just really comfortable in my room today and um excited to take you guys on this journey. So let's get right into it. Okay, so when you go into our room and you come over here to I guess the back of the room where the window is, we have a good amount of space here, as you can see, to really build out like a little just bedside nursery. Um, our master bedroom is pretty big. Um, and we plan on keeping him here in the bedroom for like maybe the first three to six months so I really want to turn this whole side of the bedroom into just like a little mini nursery and then we're actually going to put him in his room probably at about again between that four to six month mark um so but until then I want us to be extremely comfortable have everything that we need in here so currently this is daddy's side of the bed excuse the room obviously I'm in here moving about and he has all of his stuff here and I sleep on the opposite side of the room um but I want to transition that obviously so that um I'm on this side and close to the baby's uh bassinet so currently um we got the Mama Roo. Shout out to my sister for getting this for me as a gift um at our baby shower um and I'm going to move his bassinet from this side of the room over to this side of the room. And then I plan on uh, putting our rocker um, in our table and our bedside lamp and all of that stuff for feeding over on this side of the room, um, which is downstairs and daddy's gonna put that together. Um, a little bit later so currently over here it's all a mess but I do want to take you guys with me as I kind of just get it together so currently what I have over here is the Mama Roo I'm actually going to probably just do like a quick demo on this in case anyone's interested in it at all I absolutely love it um but it is a little pricey but um I definitely didn't want to go with the snoo because that money is just absolutely ridiculous but I did want to go with some sort of soothing bassinet um, so my sister actually told me about Mamaru I didn't even know about Mamaru um, and she went ahead and got this for me as a gift also what's over here is just kind of his baby bag that I already have packed that I just haven't put in the car yet this um, bag here is actually my um, pump I got all of this free through my insurance so all of my pumping equipment is in there if you guys want to know anything about how to get a pump for free through your insurance I probably include that in this vlog too just as well because I had no clue that your insurance provided free breast pumps until someone told me so we'll talk about that a little bit later too and then I've kind of started just his little cart here with all of with all of his goodies in it the plan is to have it done by today but really quick guys look at these freaking newborn diapers i could not get over how tiny these things are and they even look big on camera but in person this thing is literally like fits in my palms like the size of my hand i literally like shed a tear when i opened that up because i thought they were just too small and too, too stinking cute so 
the bone root, let's talk about this for a quick second. Uh, we currently have it plugged in, we have it powered off, but if you tap that, just tap, tap the power button, it kind of powers it off, powers it on and off, as you can see here. And then, if you're not familiar, it has multiple settings. It has multiple settings. So you have the car ride, you have the kangaroo, you have the tree swing, you have the rockabye, you have the wave, and then you also have music settings. So there's quite a few sounds. So it also acts as a sound machine, which is awesome. So um, the only thing that kind of scares me about, only thing that kind of scares me about this is that I find it to be extremely loud. So I'm going to, so starting up, on the car ride setting and it's slowly kind of rocking them in the motion that you see there on I guess the little up and down sort of <clears throat> excuse me but if you could hear it I feel like the mechanics of it is really really loud and I also feel like the movement is kind of big so I'm low-key worried about that um, with the mama root unlike the snoot it doesn't come with the the little contraption where you can fasten baby in it really is just like an open bassinet here so if anyone has had any experience with the mama root whether it's negative positive you guys kind of let me know because initially my initial thought is that the movement of this seems really big and that it'll rock it'll like maybe tip him over and obviously I'm concerned about that with him sleeping at night I don't, obviously don't want him to tip or roll or anything like that we you know obviously that's that's scary for any mom um and you can adjust the speed of it as you can see as I tap it it kind of gets bigger and bigger and starts going faster and faster I don't think I'll ever use it on this fast of a setting I mean that is like it's making me motion sick um so I'll probably always keep it on the lower setting here and then that's just kind of how you turn it off um but yeah you guys kind of let me know what your experience is with the mama root if you have any or if you've heard anything negative or positive just kind of let me know before my baby gets here and i obviously put him in the mama root but i think that my favorite is either the tree swing i like the movement of this one um and the rockabye um, the wave is interesting because it kind of makes this more circular motion. Uh, but yes, I'm excited about it. So um, let's get into some of the music. So let's turn the volume up so you guys can hear. So the first one is just white noise. Okay. Second one is rain, which is actually my favorite I love the sound of rain and I think that white noise will probably annoy me even though baby might like it but um, I think that the white noise will annoy me so I probably always do the rain the third one sounds like wind or waves I think it's waves like ocean waves yeah it sounds like ocean waves and that was not too bad and then the fourth one just sounds kind of like static and I don't like that one either. Oh, it's the shush. It's still like shh. Okay, it's the shush um, sound. Which, again, I think might annoy me. Yep, so that's it. So you can either do just the... You either do just the sound with no motion, just the motion with no sound, or neither. Let's turn this baby off. So yeah, again, I'm really excited about this. Only thing I wish is that it came with like roller, like a w wheel, so I can kind of like move it about the room. Because um, it's pretty bulky, so it's going to be pretty stationary. But um, yeah, so let's kind of just... I'll just set you guys up as I kind of work through getting this thing organized and then we'll kind of go from there.
All right, so Daddy got the rocker in, and I absolutely love it. I just put a quick pillow on it and a blanket because I do get cold. And then there is a dim lamp behind it for nighttime feedings and pumping and all that good stuff. And then I want to go and find a is a better view of it. I want to go and find a um, side table to put on the side here to have like just pumping equipment and just some extra storage. Um, and I love it because it rocks and it swivels and I can also turn it this way if we want to do, you know, just kind of look out the window and do our feeding. So yeah, I'm super excited about it. It's perfect. Found this on Amazon. I'll be sure to link it below for you guys. So, so far, no luck with side tables. But I did find this cute little basket for his room that's going to go on top of his changing table and i found these really nice little swaddles for the love so so far we're still on the hunt we out here looking very voluptuous i'm also thinking about if i should go ahead and get some new curtains while i'm here because i currently just have shears up in my um bedroom but i think i want to get blackout curtains for when he comes so that the sun doesn't wake him being that his bassinet is right there by the window and i love my grays and so they have a lot of really nice options here so we'll see okay so i found some side tables and this one i really like and i think it will be perfect because of the color and it has the drawer, but I really don't want to pay $69 for this. Like $69.99. I don't know if it's more worth it. And this one's so plain and it's $40. Bucks. It doesn't even have a drawer. This one is a little too low, even though it's nice. But again, I understand it's Tommy here, but it's like $79.99. And uh your girl is looking for something priced a little bit lower. This might be cute it's brown but it's probably it's like the perfect size so we'll keep our options open but right now I might be heading to Ross instead so all right so the bedside nursery is pretty much done I want to take you guys around so you can see exactly what it is that I did so right over here is where we have our feeding um in rocking station i put a faux plant back there just to give it a little you know ambiance i have this basket right there that has his like blankets and all of his um towels and all of that i'm probably going to change that out with something gray that was just one of uh just like a laundry basket that i got from my baby shower so i just kind of threw it right here just to have just some extra storage next to the chair if i need some extra blankets or anything like that so i ended up finding this table at home goods which i think is absolutely perfect it's like a soft gray i don't know if you guys can see that but it has the storage at the bottom and it has the drawer which is exactly what i was looking for so at the bottom i really just have like his little bath basket with some washcloths and some towels and some body lotions and body um, just kind of washes and then it has a drawer for storage which I haven't put anything in here yet but some wipes but I'm probably gonna put like lactation snacks and cookies and all that good stuff there just kind of probably extra bags and storage and pump material and then right here on top is where I have my pump my even flow pump which I got for free through my insurance and we'll talk about that here in a minute about how to get a pump through your insurance in case anyone's curious because I didn't know that was a thing until someone actually told me and then this faux plant that I found off of Amazon which I absolutely love and then the lamp is still back there and then of course we have our rocker so that's pretty much his feeding corner here and rocking all of that which I am absolutely obsessed with so when you kind of pan over here I actually have some stuff on the floor that um I still need to put away like 
just extra storage for um, breastfeeding and my manual pump as well as his boppy pillow um, for breastfeeding as well. So we're gonna take that out and put that up. And then when you pan here is where you have his um, sleeping area. So over here we have mm. the um, Diaper Genie set up for diapering. Hopefully it really does capture the smell and I don't have to worry about that being right there by my bed. And then I finally finished up his just little movable rollable cart with everything that he needs inside of there. So we have just some of the Mustela, which I heard this was really, really good. You guys let me know. I haven't obviously used or tried any of this stuff because I'm a first time mom, but I heard this was um, really good. So this is the body lotion. I also have the body wash and the uh, bubble bath. And then this is just the cleansing water, which I'm probably gonna use a lot um, when he first comes home, just because you're not supposed to bathe them, I don't think that much in the beginning. Um, and then just some butt paste, some kids Tylenol. This is like Honest Company, just hand sanitizer. I have some water wipes back here. I have plenty of regular wipes, diapers, socks, blankets, swaddles, burp cloths, onesies. I got some sleepers back here in the back. And then again, all of his just kind of essentials, gas drops, um, gripe water, nose Frida, um, saline drops, and then like a little care kit. And then here is where we have the Mama Roo set up. And then I have just my diaper caddy, which I'm gonna um, fill that up with just um, stuff that I need as I kind of move around the house. Right now I just have, right now I just have my manual pump in here, my haka, and then some um, breast feeding pads. So if your girl gets to leaking. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the bedside nursery. So. I am super excited about it. I think that we pretty much have everything we need and we're ready to kind of rock and roll. I didn't want it to be overly designed as far as like putting up pictures or anything baby related. I really just wanted it to be super comfortable and more than anything convenient. And um, I think we achieved that. So yeah, Bayside Nursery is ready to rock and roll. I think the only last thing that we have left to get is just blackout curtains because these shears are obviously not gonna do it and it lets a lot of light into the room and um, we don't wanna have those, those problems when baby is trying to sleep and get his rest. But nope, this table that I ended up finding ended up being perfect, I absolutely love it. And um, yeah. Let me know if I'm missing anything, guys. I'm open to suggestions. If there was anything that you had in your bedside nursery that you were just like, oh, this was a life changer, you definitely need to kind of add this. Definitely jump in the description box and let your girl know. All right, so breast pumps, let's talk about it. So um, a friend of mine who recently had a baby actually invited me to this breastfeeding moms group on Facebook. It's a uncensored breastfeeding group for black moms or um, moms of color. Um, and it's just really a safe space where you can really go in and just talk about any and everything. And I've learned so much throughout my pregnancy journey from these moms. I'm so thankful for that group. And one of the things was that you can get a free breast pump through your insurance. Go down in the comment section. Let me guys, let me know if you guys knew that, like regardless of of your income or anything like that you can get a free breast pump through your insurance i had no clue about that so i was very grateful to find out about that because breast pumps are like two two to four hundred dollars like the ones that i saw and that was recommended to me they were extremely expensive so um i was told that you can get a free breast pump through your insurance and i was like okay tell me more what do i need to do and when i posted in the group how do i go about getting a free breast pump through my insurance the comment section was flooded with recommendations people were giving me different websites and i'll be sure to link all of those below the ones that they did recommend and some people were just saying just call your insurance company and they'll tell you they'll walk you through the steps other people were saying talk to your OBGYN. they'll just write your prescription you go to a medical supply store, you pick it up, you get it at the hospital, take it home with you, whatever. So I didn't want to wait until I got to the hospital to try to file for it and then try to figure out how to get it home. I wanted to kind of have it now and already ready to go. So what I did was I went ahead and I contacted my insurance company. My insurance company is Aetna. And I contacted them and said, hey, um, 
I hear that I can get a free breast pump through my insurance. Can you tell me more about that? And I mean, this woman is later actually like, yep, um, these are all of the benefits that we have for expecting moms, all the postpartum benefits. One of the benefits is all of your breasts, not only the pump, but your breastfeeding, um, all your breastfeeding equipment and stuff is 100% covered through your insurance. All you need to do, they told me just go on to yummymummy.com and it'll walk me through the process. That was one of the websites that one of the girls in the breastfeeding moms group has suggested that I go through to get um, a breast pump and I think that they take most major insurance um, insurance providers um, I'm not sure but my insurance specifically told me to go to yummymummy.com and it'll walk me directly through it I'll probably insert here on the screen I'm um, just kind of walking through how to go on there or when I tell you it was so easy I literally put in yummymummy.com went straight to the link and the first landing page is like breast pump through insurance it actually your state that you're in and your insurance provider I put in my state I'm in Georgia I put in my insurance provider and then it took me to all of the available breast pumps on the website and then it'll tell you which ones are free which ones if you want a more fancy one if they, they cost more they're not as expensive if you were just to buy them by yourself um, different parts and pieces if you want to buy those outside of the insurance but they had quite a few brands that were completely free they had the Mozilla pump they had the spectra 2 they had the even flow they had another brand that i had not heard of i can't remember um, but they had at least like five different pump brands that were 100 percent free and included in your insurance and you you look when you kind of pull it up um on the website it says price zero dollars um once you put in your insurance provider and then you select it add it to your cart and then they ask you for you need to have your insurance card on hand because they want to ask you for your member number and all of that all of your information your you know your mailing address first name last name all that good stuff um in order to file the claim through your insurance and get the breast pump shipped out to you so the biggest decision i had to make was which pump that i want to go with and I was, I've heard, you know, so many things about the Modella and the Spectra 2. I hadn't heard much about the Even Flow, but I went with the Even Flow just because they had a comparison chart um, on the website and it was comparing the those three, I was looking at those three in particular, the Modella, the Spectra 2, and the Even Flow. Um, and I did a little bit of research on YouTube. And one thing that I kept hearing about the Modella is that it's like more hospital grade and it's extremely strong and that there were a lot of women that experienced some pain with it just because the suction is so strong strong in that um, there was this really good review that was comparing the even flow in the Modella and um, the young lady and I, I'll try to find that video that I watched and link it below I don't know if I'll be able to I've watched so many but she was saying that you know because her baby was having a hard time latching that she had a lot of like nicks and cuts and her breasts were really tender and she would try to pump with the Modella and she it would literally bring her to tears. It was so painful where the even flow was a lot gentler and it still got the job done and it really helped when she had sore cracked or, or just tender boobs and nipples in general. The even flow was a lot smoother and a lot less painful where the Modella literally had her in tears because the suction is just so strong but it worked great for when she was engorged or had some clogged ducts to really like kind of pull all the milk out so I think it you know it's kind of give and take needless to say I went with the even flow for a couple of reasons for that reason and also it came with so much more than the Modella and the Spectra um on the website where the Modella and the Spectra just came with pretty much um your basics like the two bottles i don't know what any of these parts are called uh the first time i don't know flanges or i don't know i don't even know what these are called but um it came with just pretty much two bottles and then the mach the mechanics and that was pretty much it where the even flow came with this whole bag of goodies so i want to show you exactly what i got in the bag so some of the stuff i've already taken out so you have the actual pump me mechanism here with the adapter that you plug in and then it has the two bottles with this was already connected here and it was coming came in safety bag but you have your your two bottles um and then they come with different sizing of these little cups whatever these are called depending on your breast and your nipple size so they, they came with i believe three different sizes this is the standard one that was already on here um and then it came with two extra bottles and bottle caps for breastfeeding storage 
also inside of this bag which is a very spacious bag it's not the best bag i've ever seen but it's a decent bag as you can see it has a lot of space in here for storage and it also came with a little cooler this is a even flow a little gray cooler i love gray so i absolutely love the color of this and it's completely insulated and inside of here you have additional caps you have all of your your hookups you have some nipples for the bottles and then you have some caps for the bottles and then it also comes with the freezer the little freezer packs the chill pack where you put those in the freezer and put them inside of this insulated carrier in order for you to store your um your breast your pumped milk on the go so i absolutely love 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 this little this little cooler which i thought was super cool again the modeling inspector did not come with all of this and then also inside of here you obviously have your your manual you have like i said the extra sizing for um for your breast pump depending on your size it came with i take that back it came with two different sizes so this one is a bit smaller than the one that was already on the two bottles that i received and then that's pretty much it and then you have the bag and it has some pockets here on the side there's some storage here this is a great bag you can take on the go with you um when you're taking your pump to work or wherever you have just really good storage like i say it's not the best quality bag but it's a a pretty decent bag more than anything i just absolutely love this little this little cooler and all of the extra extra bottles that it came with so this was the even flow um set that i got again it cost me absolutely nothing so processing time i called my insurance company they told me to go on yummymummy.com i went on yummy mummy it took me a couple minutes just to decide a bit the things took the longest to decide which pump i wanted to go to go with and doing my research i chose my pump i added it to my cart when I went to check out, they asked me for my information, name, address, my member number on my card, and the type of plan that I had. I selected all of that. I submitted my order. I immediately got an email from Yummy Mummy saying your order has been submitted. They said my order has been submitted and, they, and I needed to provide a prescription from my OBGYN for the pump. And they said the prescription form is already attached. Just have that sent to your OBGYN, have them fill it out, and they can either fax it directly back to Yummy Mummy via the number that's on the form, or they can send it to me and I can send it over to Yummy Mummy. So I was like, oh God, this is gonna take, I gotta, get a prescription and all of this so i actually um like two days later probably i was just i was dreading have to go through it and, and all of that i um, ended up sending an email to my um obgyn br portal and said hey i'm trying to get a free breast pump through my insurance they required uh this form we fit out for the prescription um can you guys fill this out and send it back to me so that i can send it to them my doctor responded the very next day. We filled the form out. We already sent it over to Yummy Mummy. Everything's done. I received my breast pump at my door the very next day. The very next day, the breast pump was at my door. Like, I could not believe it. My, literally my insurance, <laughs> what took the longest was me waiting a couple days to ask my OBGYN for the prescription um, to be filled out to send to Yummy Mummy. But Yummy Mummy received it from my OBGYN that day. And I don't know how, but the very end, they, and they sent me an email saying, we have received your prescription. Um, your order has been shipped. And the very next day, the order, the breast pump was at my door via FedEx overnight. So all in all, it probably took me a week to get this pump to my door from me contacting Aetna to me going on Yummy's website, to me getting the prescription from my doctor, to the pump being at my door a week max. And two of those days, I just was sitting on my behind, not feeling like being bothered with asking my OBGYN for a prescription. So you could probably really honestly get this in within like two to five business days if you are close to your due date. I don't think that they'll ship it out prior to like a certain time you're pregnant, but like prior to 30 weeks or something like that. But at the time that I ordered it, I think I was already 34 weeks, 32. So I got it recently. But um, yeah, so I just want to let you guys know, I don't know if anyone else knew that. If you want to share what I learned as I learn it with you guys, because with me being a first time, I just didn't know these things. Like, who knew you can get a $200 breast pump for free through your insurance? And that's obviously any any savings while you're pregnant is 
a good thing so yeah that's it for this week's video i hope that you guys really did enjoy it because i enjoyed recording this for you guys and um my next vlog is going to be my maternity shoot that is coming up and i will be recording some behind the scene footage for that so you guys be sure to stay tuned for that video and again if you like this type of content please do not forget to like and subscribe make sure you hit that bell notification so you'll be notified every time your girl uploads and i will see you guys in my next video bye